Did you think I painted this? Well, I wish I did. Um, we're gonna go and meet the artists behind this. But before that, welcome to another episode of Showcase on Sevens TV. Now let's go and meet Judith, the artist behind this amazing painting. I'm superly excited to be here with this young, energetic and talented lady who's just 85. We're excited to know about her creative journey into the field of painting. Welcome Judith, welcome to the show of Showcase on Sevens TV. Thank you Shoba. I'm delighted that you're here. Yeah. And I'm, I'm going to be quite happy to share my journey. Judith, tell us a little about how this journey started and when did you actually realize about this passion in you? Oh, probably when I was around about nine or ten years old. And I, I mean, I really love drawings. I've always loved drawing. And somewhere around about the age of 11, I went to a Saturday morning art class at Koai Intermediate School. And it was from there that the whole of painting and drawing expanded. And my journey then was through um, Auckland Girls Grammar School in the art course. And then I did a four years at Elam School of Fine Arts and graduated with a diploma in fine art in 1957. So what actually inspired and motivated you, Judith? Honestly, it was romance. The romantic idea of being an artist. That's beautiful. It was, that's exactly what it was. And from 1957 to 1970, I did not practice any art at all. I spent that time rearing three children. From 1970 onwards, I became involved with adult education. A marriage failed, a relationship <laughs> evolved, which is now 40 years old. And at that junction, I went back to university and studied art history. That's so inspirational. With art history was like opening a window on the world. So it how, how really old were was. you around this time? I was 43, I think, wow. when I went back to study art history. It was wonderful. It was so exciting. And well, my journey then has completely gone on from studying art history to playing with or exploring the idea of working with fabric. And so I spent about four years creating wall hangings and banners and uh, applique garments, this enjoying the fabric making, but the realization that my life was being tied to a sewing machine wasn't all that <laughs> inspirational. I then by an incredible chance, a friend of mine rang and said, look, we're really, really desperate. Do you think you could come and babysit my art classes for about a week until we can get another art teacher. So that was kind of the turning point. Well, that was, I was 50 that year. And I was recruited by my friend Shelley Ride to become a part-time teacher at Diocesan School for Girls, teaching practical art and art history. Beautiful. And I did that for four years. In 1990, I decided I really, really needed to find out if all this journey has been advan an advantage to me. Can I paint? That was the big question. Can I paint? I knew I could teach, but I didn't know if I could paint. So my journey from then on 
since 1990 has been, can I paint? So it, this, this was your kind of a calling? I think there was always an excitement. And I think, and there was always a challenge. I knew I had an understanding of art and art history and of paint and qualities. So I decided that my very, very best next step was to find out what I was. And so that's what I have been doing. I've been finding out what I was and in some respects, who I am. Yeah. And I know that I am a painter. So Judith, do you also have exhibitions to display your paintings? Yes, I've had six solo exhibitions. Mostly all my work has been in group shows everywhere, all over the place. And I've also put my work into award exhibitions also all over the country, all over the North Island, I should say. My work has been scattered through all, all sorts of different venues for the last um, 28 years. So how do people get to know about your studio here? Oh, <laughs> well, that's rather difficult because I don't advertise. But now I do have a web page and hopefully that will expand my um, visibility. And tell us, Judith, something about your style, because I see a lot of uh, flowers, I see a lot of stripes. Is there a signature style of yours? <laughs> that is really funny. Stripes have appeared often in my work. Now, I don't know why, because I'm appalling at getting <laughs> lines straight. I'm appalling at getting them properly vertical, and yet, I have stripes everywhere. From as far back as my wedding dress series, there have been stripes. Wow. <laughs> and the rest of the, the work that I do generally is generated from, oh, that's a good idea. I wonder what will happen if I do that. And that's the journey that I've been on. Plants, flowers, because they're handy. They're yeah. there. They're right outside in my garden. And the current journey is with stripes again. <laughs> and fortunately for me, my husband can measure accurately. Beautiful. <laughs> That's, that makes my life really precious. That's lovely. And Judith, this journey must have had a lot of challenges. <laughs> every one of these canvases is a new, every one, this one, that one, they're all a new challenge or a new excitement. Yeah. And the excitement about the, cha about the challenges is a lot of the time I don't know what I'm doing. What I'm doing is exploring what happens when I put the paint down on the canvas and if it works or not. And one of the matters that I took off on was painting 114 paintings of shoes. Wow. Throughout the 90s, I worked with first with the flower paintings. The second thematic thing that I got involved with was an exhibition of wedding dress paintings. Wow, the inspiration. That I borrowed all the wedding dresses from friends and I had this, I did eight paintings of wedding dresses. That was an extraordinary experience. And the next theme that I worked on was portraits of my friends. We were all turning 60. Wow, at the that's one so time. sweet. <laughs> so I did their portraits. Following that, for some extraordinary reason, I became enamored with shoes. 
well, I love shoes myself, but painting them was sort of rather crazy. So I started with a block of 25 squares of a single pair of red shoes in 25 different positions, wow. which I called waiting for Marjorie. Well, that was the beginning. From then on, I did a block of another 25 of children's sneakers, a block of 25 of individual shoes that belonged by, by one particular woman, and another block of 42 shoes, of black gentlemen's shoes, of the kind that you only wore if you were belonged to the very, very best men's clubs. And virtually now, I haven't a clue what I'm doing. <laughs> it's quite fun. <laughs> what is that that you would like to advise or give as words of wisdom to upcoming artists? Follow your dream. There's nothing more important than following your dream. Don't let anything stand in your way. Sure. Explore and explore, ask questions and follow your dream. On this note, let's wish Judith the very best and we are so happy for having you in the show today. Thank you Thank so you much, much for being with us. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, this was definitely a very inspirational episode and age is just a number. So don't forget to follow your dreams. And on behalf of Judith, I welcome everyone to come and see these amazing artworks in her studio. For more such exciting episodes, keep an eye out on Sevens TV. Until next time, this is Bharti signing out. Mm -hmm.